In this video, we're going to show you how to save your patterns for later use in other documents. Now, you do know that when you're working with a pattern in a artwork and you've created it, when you save that document, it saves the current swatches that you have. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to get rid of these that I have open and I'm just going to hold down shift and select all these and I'm going to trash them and I'm going to delete those. Then I'm going to delete this folder and I'm going to delete this folder. Alright, so now that I have it like that, I can actually save these as my own pattern. I can also delete these ones if I wanted to, but I'm not going to worry about that. So to save these, right, you go up to this little icon here in the corner and we're going to save swatch library as AI. When you click on that, it's going to give you an option to save it most likely in the subfolder of the um, program which is going to be somewhere yeah I see PBR update all that stuff that's not the right place we want to put it in a place we get to uh, because you might want to put it on a like your home directory or something so I'm gonna put it uh, in a little extra folder here um, just here temporarily you can call it whatever you want in this case I'm gonna call mine Willy patterns uh, and I think I think I need to save that and then here's the way it goes now I don't want to save my pattern to complete here uh, I'm not gonna save that I'm gonna just go ahead and open up that same document again and let's say I didn't have these two or I had a different document I could just easily load in by opening up a swatch library my willy patterns right so I can choose other library I can browse to that folder that I put it in and let's put it in screencast and I think this is where it was okay and yeah it's double zero so there you go and now inside um, the document I have these two now if I wanted to combine these like put them back in here you see I can drag them over so you can honestly mix and match from different swatch libraries to create the perfect library for your document and what I want you to do is basically get each of yours up like so and I'm gonna create a custom class patterns pack based upon all of your patterns so don't let me down make some really cool designs then I want you to save them and have them by themselves so that I can then connect them all together to create the perfect digital media 2 swatch library